Welcome back, Last Request Barbecue Show. Very fun episode happening. First of all, thanks to everyone who has hit that subscribe. Whoa, I got the umbrella in my head. I'm getting a new umbrella, by the way, for anybody who's curious. All right, stay away from me. All right. Uh, right, I got a very fun episode today. And thanks to everybody who's been subscribing and voting and commenting. Thanks for everything. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So today's episode, if I don't get impaled by um, my umbrella, very fun. Turkey two ways. So I have two delicious turkey breasts, some hater turkey breasts. So we're going to do them two ways. The first way, mayo. We're going to put mayo on them and seasoning. It's going to be amazing. And the second way, we're going to put some seasoning on, courtesy of our friends at St. Hubert. We're going to try their St. Hubert barbecue. Who knows chicken better than St. Hubert? Let's see if they know turkey. And then we're going to make the, a repeat of the David Hasselhoff Hasselback mini potatoes that I had a couple of episodes ago, uh, except the difference is I'm not going to put Hungarian paprika in them, hot Hungarian paprika. I'm going to try this Piri Piri, St. Hubert Piri Piri. I've already opened this. It smells amazing. So we're going to do this Piri Piri spice from my friends at St. Hubert first. Lots of work to do. Not a long cook. Going to be super fun. I'm also, by the way, going to turn some of the turkeys into paninis with some very special cheese from my friends at Lakeview Cheese. This is going to be melty, melty. So all kinds of different ways to enjoy uh, turkey. Let's get started. All right, put my Dale Strom knife to use again. Knives, love this knife. So by the way, I forgot, we're going to put hot honey on the turkey. I think I said that, did I say that? I don't remember if I said that, but we're putting hot honey on the turkey from Peace River, my friends at Peace River. It's going to be amazing. Uh, so really looking forward to it. All right, so let's get our turkey breasts set and ready to go. Great Ontario turkey here. All right, so now we got our two turkeys, both looking pretty amazing. So now what we want to do for the first turkey, we're going to cover it in mayo and then add some spices to it. it. Neither of these are brine, so I'm not afraid of a bit of salt spices. So let's get going. First things first, we're going to put some mayo on this turkey. Check this out. We're going to cover this puppy in mayonnaise every which way. Mm -hmm, hmm. I don't want to dip my hands back in there. Let's see if I can... Oh. Let's see if I can get this glove on without mayoing myself. Oh, that's not bad. All right, so we're gonna put, put this lots of mayonnaise on here. Is that too much mayo? I don't know. Shout out, by the way, to Jerby. Jerby's YouTube site, which is where I got the inspiration and part of the recipe for. Follow Jerby. They are amazing pit masters and they're busted in myths and making amazing food. So check out Jerby. Ooh, it's been a bit of a mess. All right, now we got all mayoed up. So let's get rid of the mayo. Now we want pepper. Pepper for a nice bark. There we go. And on top of the pepper, St. Hubert barbecue. Now these aren't brine, so I'm not worried about the salt content. In fact, I want a little bit of salt content. Salt's not the first listed ingredients here, but it's certainly in there. So, and you know, this can accept a lot of flavor. So let's, whew, that's pretty, <laughs> pretty fun looking. Repeat. Like I said, who knows more than chicken? Let's see if they know a thing or two about barbecue and turkey. All right. And that is ready to go on to the Yoder at 275. So let's now talk about our next one. A little more simple, we're going to start out again with black pepper for the bark. And on this, we are going to put the Saint Hubert Piri Piri. Now we're also going to use this on the potatoes, so, so you don't have to manage too many spices all at the same time. And this one is the one that's going to get treated afterwards with the hot bourbon honey. So that's where this all comes together. Our Peace River, woohoo, there it is, hot bourbon honey. Let's flippy flop that over. And once again, our Piri Piri. If the turkey was moist enough, I didn't really need to put a binder like a Camelina oil on. And there we go, you can even see the chunks of salt in this. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. I tell you, this is both gonna be amazing. All right, let's get these onto the yoder. All right, our Yoda's cranking away at around uh, 260, right now 267, 275. Now I've actually got some ribs on the go. Mmm, ribs are looking good, man. Now this is a familiar recipe actually for the ribs. On the ribs I've got black spice from Bearded Butcher, and I'm going to put some black garlic sauce on them. But they're not the star of the show today. It is our turkey, so let's get our turkeys on. Put this one right there. That's our mayo. Put this one right there. That's going to be the hot honey one. All right, let's get that going. 
All right, so this will be pretty familiar to everyone from my last episodes. You know, we're doing the little mini potatoes. So we're gonna cut a bunch of these potatoes and get them going. There we go. Now into the sauce, we are going to put this piri piri. So we got a chunk of butter in here. We're gonna add in some piri piri. We're gonna add in some garlic. And we're gonna add in some S&P. Get that mixed up. I think we need some more butter in there, actually. And there we go. That's a lot more butter, but that's okay. That's what we need for the potatoes. So we'll get that going. We'll get that all melted. And that is going on our potatoes. All right, so now we've got our delicious sauce, which is butter, salt and pepper, garlic, and this St. Hubert Piri Piri. And we're just gonna cover up the first round of our potatoes. Then we're gonna do this a couple times, pretty much every 10 minutes or so in these. They won't take too long, because that's the beauty of mini potatoes, that this is a nice, fragrant, all natural, organic butter. Liking it, liking it, liking it. All right, now we're gonna put these in the Crown Verity at about 425 and cook away. There we go. Turn off the direct heat here, lower here, lower here, and that should bring it up to 425 quite nicely. All right, so our turkey's been on for a couple of hours, about an hour and a half, and it is ready. So let's get it out. Check those out. All right, now let's get them wrapped and ready for the next step. All right, we're in the home stretch now. We've got our mayo turkey and we've got our regular turkey. So what we're gonna do actually for both of them and put them in aluminum. Now this is the mayo one. So we're gonna put on top of that mayo, that's right, butter. And that butter will melt and become basically the sweet butter gravy. Look at that, in case you can't see that. And then on top of that, we're gonna put more barbecue spice. So as that melts, that's gonna cover that in a delicious barbecue spice. All right, we'll put that in the barbecue. It's already cooked. So that will melt pretty much on its own. Now for our next one, once again, we'll flip it up. We'll put it in here. We put in again our butter, which creates our delicious gravy. And here is the big piece de resistance, Peace River, hot bourbon honey. And we're just gonna slather this. So when the butter melts, it's gonna melt into the honey. Look at that. <whistles> Amazing, all right. So we're gonna wrap that up, guess aluminum foil, we don't need that. We'll be done in minutes. Turn the heat off, we'll just let that sit with the natural heat and our piri piri potatoes are ready. Check that out, a little piri piri sauce and butter. We're also making a mac and cheese with a vegan, kind of vegan Velveeta, if you can believe that. We'll make that. All right, we'll be right back. Slice it up. All right, our turkey has been resting comfortably. Oh, look, check that out. That's exactly what we were going for. Check that out. The sauce, the buttery goodness. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow, we got some great guests over. Now I'm gonna pluck this out and then put it back in because I, I wanna save this buttery sauce, but I wanna slice up this turkey now with my Dale Strum knife, which I'm loving. And let's slice up our turkey because we're actually doing some paninis as well tonight. So it's a kind of dealer's choice night where you can have both paninis with sliced turkey or just sliced turkey and some ribs. Let's have our guest try a piece of the turkey. Sure, thank you. All right. How is it, Santo? Oh my God. That's the hot honey one? That's the hot honey one. Oh, that's really good. Oh my God, that's good, right? Yeah. That's good. Ho, oh, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> now we're gonna put that back in its buttery goodness where it will sit and mellow. And there we go. So this is our mayo version. Once again, the butter is a little bit cold, so it's not quite melted, but check that out. Look at the sauce around it. That'll continue to melt. Delicious. All right, we'll pop this out, carve it up, and then put it back into the sauce. Oh, this thing carves like butter. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, okay. Check that out. I mean, sometimes turkey doesn't win with flavor. Let's see, try that one. This is the mayo with the barbecue spice. Hey? Right? Yeah. Wow. Very creamy. 
Creamy, right? Creamy, Creamy. right? It's got a texture to it that keeps yeah. on giving, right? Yeah. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. Hey? And that's the one that's got the uh, St. Hubert barbecue. Delicious. And the St. Hubert barbecue spice has a bit of salt in it, for sure. Now, if you wanted to avoid salt in your spices, for whatever reason, you can brine the turkey, which puts more flavor. But the way these have turned out, I have to say, the folks at St. Hubert, they know what they're doing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. Delicious.